I started working when I was 11. By 25, I could feel the end of my career coming. I thought, what happens now? What will be my life? I was terrified. And so I made an error of you. Some of the girls were lucky. They had fallen in love, but not me, not once. Even though I had been all over the world and I had met everyone. That spring, I was introduced to Valerie. He was then just as he is now, solid, substantial, and good. The salt of the earth, as Americans like to say. I felt a great affection for him, a great respect. There is a kind of love. I thought it was the only kind I would ever know. I didn't believe in love. I didn't believe in love. Eight years later, I discovered that I should have. It has stunned me, this new happiness, which came out of nowhere. This secret door that has opened in me. I have never felt so alive as when I am in your arms. It is tempting, so tempting, to forget about everything and just accept this gift. But I cannot. And not because I don't believe that you would be a marvelous stepfather to Mark and Elodie, and a wonderful father to the children we might have had together. Not because of lifestyle, or the difference in our ages, or the opinions of others. When Valerie and I married, we wrote our own vows. Ton cœur ne sera toujours plus cher que le mien. He has always kept his promise, and I feel I must keep mine. But it's more than a matter of honor. One day, Brian, when you have children, You'll understand that to leave them is to leave yourself. And to endure them, unthinkable. I told you, I'm an old-fashioned girl. Please do not try to contact me. It will not change anything. I am so sad to say goodbye. To be parted. I can't believe it, really. We had so many adventures still ahead of us. Maybe if we had had more time, I would have found something about you I didn't like, really couldn't stand, which would be very useful right now. But I doubt it. They say that no love is perfect. But then, they never met you. Ah, yeah. Oh, it's okay, but if I may impose for a favor, sir, please give this to Madame Pierpont when she comes for lunch on Friday. Certainly, sir. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> 